Hi everybody, welcome to this short tutorial on Accordance Bible Software. Today I want to talk about the feature that Accordance offers where with a click of the button you can look at ancient parallel texts that are related, um, that, that use that same word that you're searching for. And you can do this in Hebrew with certain related uh, parallel texts. Uh, you can also do this with Greek, which is what I tend to do as, as a New Testament uh, person, uh, but I just want to demonstrate it for you. So um, I, you know, again, my heads up display, which I've talked about before, has a Greek text here, the Greek Bible, uh, Septuagint, Greek New Testament. Uh, I have my NRSV, which I tend to use, and I have something like the NET or the NIV. You could put more translations on there if I wanted to add another translation, but just to keep my screen a little bit larger and simpler, uh, I want to just use these translations. So I'm doing some research in Philippians right now, and I've actually been studying uh, the word that's translated here as citizenship, uh, polituma, uh, which is over here in Greek, polituma. It's uh, a pretty rare word in the Greek Bible, um, but it's a pretty common word in general in the ancient world, referring to citizenship or um, uh, colony or commonwealth uh, or or an organized state or something like that. So if I wanted to do more study on this term, and I've set up a feature called Live Click, which I'll explain on another occasion, but I've set up this feature so that if I just click on it as a kind of a basic um, left click, uh, it's going to bring up a couple of things. It's going to bring up the lexicons, which I've talked about in a different video. So I'm not going to look at that again, even though I tend to do a quick search through those to see what's there. I'm going to close that so I can focus on this browser, which is a word usage category up here. And I've labeled it primary Greek texts uh, with a certain uh, set of texts that I want to look at for comparison. And what this does is it pulls that word and, and looks for where that word is tagged in the lexical form so it can search different forms in any of its the comparison text that I ask it to look in. For example, Josephus, Philo, uh, Epictetus, uh, Pseudepigrapha, Septuagint, but also you can do other texts. For example, I have the Perseus Classics text in here. Um, I have later texts like Eusebius. Um, I think I might have the Apostolic Fathers uh, that I, I have in another set. So I can go through here and I can see, okay, Josephus used this a bunch of times. Here's Philo, um, here's Basil, and then there's some classics, some other things. Uh, what's really nice about this is you want to be able to look at primary text. You want to be able to do some comparison. Now, what I do if I see I want to go through Joseph, Josephus first, I'll do the open feature, which then opens up Josephus. Now, you might be wondering what happened to what you did before. It's here as another tab, kind of like Google Chrome or something like that. I can switch tabs from the original uh, window that I was looking at to Josephus. Now, my you know, reading of Josephus, it'll take a while for me to read it in Greek. I'll need to look things up. If I want to do quick comparison, I can add the English text here under Add Parallel, which means it'll stick it right next to it, and they're tagged together. And it pulls up um, the English so I can do a quick study. And I have to kind of figure it out, which I can. But I can figure out it's this constitution here word. Um, if I look over here again, I can see it's this, you know, form of government. Um, it occurs here and I can do some comparison to get a sense of the feel of this word. I can do that with Philo. I can do that with some of these other texts as well. Uh, if, if there's an English version that is available. I use this a lot because I actually feel like in this case, the lexicons, especially the commentaries, don't actually get it right. I think citizenship is not bad, but it's pretty generic, and I feel like there's more to it going on here. And I was able to do a study using Accordance where I can look at all these uses. I looked up all the uses in Josephus. I looked up a lot of the uses in Philo. I looked up some uses in Epictetus as well. Um, I looked up some other things from uh, early church history as well, and it provided a really, really helpful, quick access to parallel texts where I can see this word in use in real time in the sense that I'm seeing the primary text in Greek 
and a translation if I need it. I can bring that back to my study. I, I quote some of these sources in my scholarship. Um, if I was doing a word study for a sermon, I would I would want to do some of this work. Maybe if you only have a little bit of time, you look at some text. If you have more time, you look at more. This is really essential to in-depth Bible study. Don't just do an English word study that's going to set you uh, off track in some ways. You want to be able to, if you can, study it in Greek. And Accordance gives you quick options. They give you a lot of tools and resources that are going to help you study that word efficiently and um, save you time ordering books from the library or having to open up a bunch of books. Uh, this is invaluable. I've used uh, this many, many times. I use it almost every day. Um, I look up some of these texts in Josephus and Philo. I'm, in a different video, I'm going to tell you what you'll want if you want to collect a certain number of texts within a coordinates to do this kind of study. But just know they have almost everything you'll ever need. Um, I'm sure they'll continue to produce more things, but for now, they really have everything that almost everything that I want and need to do the kind of rigorous primary text and parallel primary text study that I want to do. So uh, Accordance is designed for this. It's one of its primary uses, and you get a lot of um, great stuff out of it.